What's up everybody, welcome back to Supreme Tech. This video, we're gonna be breaking down Firelink being shut down, and I'm gonna show you how to get an alternative that'll probably work for you. Um, also, we'll explain, you know, why this is actually happening. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. Before we hop into it, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, it really helps us out, and let's hop right into it. So real quick brush over what FileLink is. It's basically a app sharing app, right? So you can go on there. Um, it's an app store. You can make your own app store. I had my app store up and running uh, a little while ago. I just recently took that down. Um, the same with a lot of other YouTubers because YouTube is cracking down on what they're allowing in their videos and what they're not allowing. So I'm just playing it safe with everything that I make all my videos um, I ain't gonna be recommending no third-party apps or nothing like that but I can still bring you videos like this where I explain what's going on so what I think is going on honestly is the same type of stuff is with Mobdro if you don't know what Mobdro is it's another app let me go ahead and show you uh, I made video on this before I will put a link in the cue card also but it's just another app where it was live TV and Europe um, cracked down on them. It's called Eurovision. They cracked down on them because of the soccer games that they were letting people get for free. So that's one of the main reasons. But if you think this doesn't apply to other apps and services like FileLink that lets you get these apps, then you're really wrong because um, it's money. It all comes down to money, right? If these people are losing enough money, they're going to come after you and shut you down. So that's what I feel like happened to FileLink. Um, there's an app called FileSync that just came out. And another one, I believe it's called, what is it, AppLink? Yeah, AppLink. So you got FileSync and AppLink. Um, AppLink isn't like perfected yet. So a lot of people are recommending doing FileSync. Um, because it's more polished, it's you know better for the user. But they think that um, AppLink could be coming out, you know, in the future as one of the top ones. But as far as right now, um, File Sync is the way to go. And when you get on there, you know, what I mean, it's the same thing. You got to type in a code. But with them, they got trending codes also, so you could click on it and it'll show all the most popular codes. Um, it's up to each individual code maker or for their store if they're going to let you get in for free or you got to have a pin. Um, so there's two different ways. It's the same as file linked in that way uh, where, you know, you can have a pin or not. Now, I'm on file Sync's website right now and um, you can come here to check it out, read up on it, see if it's something that you want to do. I personally um, haven't downloaded it on my device because I'm uh, not using any of those kind of um, apps anymore. And you can also get the download here if you want. But I just want to show you guys they have a website. So basically what it comes down to is, um, you know, finally got shut down. You know, most people that still do the third party apps and all that, they're going to want something else to use for file sharing and being able to download their apps from a new place uh, and that's where file sync comes in and i don't see file link coming back honestly i don't even see file sync lasting that long because like i said they are cracking down on this uh, mobdro is probably the biggest one that we know of that's actually gotten arrested but i'm sure there's a ton of smaller um, apps and smaller programs that have got busted people went to jail but that's what they do they just wait till one gets shut down and then they'll upload another one kind of like a clone or they'll have a whole different creator just trying to make the same thing um, so that's just how it works comment down below let me know what you guys think about this um, are you gonna end up using file sync I haven't personally, like I said, but that's everybody else's choice. One thing, though, I do want to stress, if you do do that, 
you got to get a VPN like IP Vanish VPN. They got a lot of different promos and deals going on all the time. So click on the link in the description and it'll explain more. Um, if you don't know what a VPN is, it basically keeps you protected, your IP address. Um, and they got all types of different perks too. You know, sugar sink storage. Um, they just upgraded the speed and they just upgraded how many devices you can have connected. So check them out. Um, if you don't like them, if you don't want to pay money, at least get a free service like Proton or there's a lot of other ones. But just do your research, find out which one works for you. With all that said, I'm going to close this one out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one.